What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and yes, it finally came in today. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm looking at my bike right now, 22 Road Glide Mad Max. Clutch started slipping about probably a week and a half ago. Someone asked in the comments and actually asked a question, seems like it's not sl slipping. Is it slipping anymore? Yes, it's slipping. Pretty much once a clutch starts slipping, it's pretty much kaput after that. Everything gets glazed over. The steels get glazed over. The frictions get glazed over. Doesn't matter what you do after that point. It's going to slip. But it doesn't matter because all of the components from Evolution Industries are right by my feet right here. And I'm going to show them to you guys here in a second. But I do want to go over something pretty important and really cool. Hang on a second. You guys know that I rock all of the Indie Ridge gear right here, their boots, their gloves, their face shields, their hats. Today, Black Monday, not Black Friday, Black Monday, if you go to the website and you purchase a pair of boots, you get a pair of gloves for free. Not only that, used my discount code, F-A-N-A-T-I-X, Fanatics. Get your 10% off, buy yourself the best riding boot that money can buy, and let me tell you, you will not be disappointed. Absolutely the most comfortable riding boot on the market, and look at that. It absolutely is killer in style as well. But before you go anywhere, hang tight, because I'm actually gonna show you footage of me on the bike because a lot of people were asking, well, how do you know? What are the telltale signs? I'm basically going to show you on my bike. I'm going to be riding it. I'm going to give it throttle. You're going to see the RPMs go up. So let's just go to the bike. Oh, look at that deer. Oh, he's hobbling. Poor thing. Look at that buck. Wow. I'm, what are we, six pointer? Oh, he's hobbling. Poor thing. Oh, he's hurt. Looks like his legs hurt. There's another one right there. Maybe they were just fighting. Watch. Look at him over here. Yeah, he's freaking hobbling too. Look. Why? What the hell's going on? Hear it? You probably heard that. When I get on it, you hear the, like the RPMs shoot up, but the bike's nearly not moving. That's why I was telling you guys in the past video about the clutch actually slipping hear it yep it's slipping I'll do it again watch see I'm not really moving rpm shoot up and bike doesn't go anywhere all right so as you guys seen in the footage it's basically you're riding and you're in gear and if you're at a low rpm and you just hit the throttle all of a sudden the rpms just start shooting up really fast and you know that the clutch is slipping because you don't feel any forward momentum. So it's like a it's a it's a weird feeling between your hearing and the feeling you get on the bike. They just don't match. It's not synced. You hit the throttle, our bike sounds a lot louder, RPM gauge goes up, but you're standing still pretty much. So if you guys are experiencing any of that, try the adjustment first. Um, I believe on a hydraulic clutch, I believe there's no adjustment, but on the cable type clutch that I have, um, I'll actually go over that because the next video, I'm actually gonna be installing the components. So I'll actually show you guys how to adjust the clutch, but it's really simple. There is an adjustment on a cable clutch. But if your clutch is slipping already, chances are probably 90% of the time, no matter how much you adjust it or whatever, because of those frictions and steels are glazed over, it's shot, okay? So if you feel any amount of slippage, try to get the bike back home as soon as possible. Try to make your adjustments as soon as possible. Otherwise, pretty much it's going to be too late. You're gonna need um, a new clutch. So hopefully those videos of me on the bike showed you kind of the way the RPMs moved up, the bike got louder, but it didn't move. Hopefully that'll show you, hopefully you kind of understand um, basically the simple telltale signs of when a clutch slips. So this way you guys could jump on it as fast as possible, hopefully try to save it, but you know, like I said, chances are you're not going to be able to. This is what's going in, and the next video, I'm still going to put out one more video before Thanksgiving. We're gonna be 
probably off maybe Thursday and Friday for Thanksgiving. I'm not going to be posting anything. I'm just going to take a break and be with the family. My daughter's home uh, from Boston University. So um, we're just going to have a nice family dinner with the entire family and relax and enjoy family. But like I said, I will have another video. I'm going to be posting that video Wednesday of the installation of the Evolution Performance Industries clutch and their ramp for the compensator. So I'm going to show you that. So there will be one more video and definitely stay tuned for that. So let's get on with it. Let me show you this beast. Oh my God, it's heavy. Let me weigh it. Let me weigh it because I do want to weigh. I got the scale right here. I do want to weigh the stock one. So this one is 17.4 pounds. Okay, so this way, remember that. And this way, when I take out the old one, I am definitely going to weigh it. So without taking it out of the package, this is what, look at this thing. I got the good lens on the camera, so hopefully, um, let me stand up. Yeah, hopefully it will focus in and you will get a crystal clear picture. So this is, okay, let me go over it. When you open up your primary cover, right, and you see the whole clutch assembly, the clutch is this inside. You got your frictions and steels. You have your six springs right here. On a stock clutch, you only have three springs. That's why this is so, so heavy duty. And I will also show you the difference between stock steels and frictions compared to the steels and frictions that are on this Evolution Industries freaking beast of a clutch. Let me tell you, you're not, you are not, so forget about it. I don't care what anybody says, you are not, absolutely not getting a better clutch system than this so this is the evolution industries clutch six springs i have also these are the standard springs that are rated for up to 160 horsepower and then i have the other springs which i'll show you in a second they are rated for up to 200 horsepower so not only that you get the clutch you have to get this is the basket around here not only do you get the basket you get the ring gear right here it is all one piece everything you can get a stock gear right here um, or I believe you could get a couple more teeth on it to kind of lower your gearing as well there's a couple different options but definitely check them out on their website give them a call if you have major power on your motorcycle don't forget about everything else because I'm telling you now, it is going to go. I've experienced it on Silverback with 156 horsepower. I went through clutches, I went through different types of clutches, and nothing holds, trust me, nothing holds. This thing absolutely will hold up to and over 200 horsepower. And let me tell you, I, I'm gonna show you this in the next video, I just don't wanna unpackage it right now, but you're gonna see all these components, they are, the most high quality components and i'm going to tell you something they don't sponsor me they did give me this part okay they do not sponsor me but i'm telling you i wouldn't put anything else in the bike nothing because i know it works and i'll tell you guys now and i'm sure you guys know this i only put stuff on the channel that i know work if it doesn't work i will tell you and there are a lot of items and products that i know do not work that i've had a lot of people wanting to pay me to advertise their products and I will not put their products on the channel. I will only put products that work and that will work for you guys. Um, so this is the whole clutch, basket, ring set, everything together. Really easy to put on. Like I said, definitely hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for that video. Now these are the red springs, which are rated, like I said, up to and over 200 pounds. I'm not going to need that because I only have a stage two. And like I said before, I'm really, really surprised that 
with only a stage two, the clutch started slipping. So it just really surprised me. Like I told you guys in a previous video, I didn't think that would happen, but it did. We've, I've had stage twos on every single one of my baggers. I've had many for the past 10, 15 years, if not longer. And um, no matter what, with the stage two only, never had a problem with a clutch, nor did any of my buddies have a problem, nor did even today uh, usually do a stage two. Nobody changes out the clutch, but it happens. I don't know why. So we'll check it out once we take it apart. Uh, this is the other part. This is for the compensator. So now if you guys know this part, if you've ever taken off your primary cover, this is the ramp on the on the compensator so basically what happens is the stock one this shatters and that's a big problem because once the stock one shatters it could potentially be very dangerous because you have all these pieces going in and there's a chain in there and if one piece gets caught up in that chain it could lock everything up and that would be an absolute disaster so they this is the evolution industries uh hardened ramp compensator so we're going to put that in as well and we should be good to go so those are the items that are going in i'll definitely be putting out a video on wednesday day before thanksgiving because i also want to talk to you guys and i'll show you guys how we put the clutch together uh how it goes in we'll take the bike um, maybe if we have time for a spin, if not, we'll do another video after the holidays, but thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions about this evolution performance industries, um, clutch setup, reach out to them. I'll have all the links down below. Talk to Andre. Awesome. Awesome guy and, um, very knowledgeable and they'll help you. And if you want to order one, just go to the website. Um, this is one piece. Oh, that's another thing. This is one piece. So you could get like this basket, this basket with the ring gear, like all pressed together. The last one, I didn't even know. The last one I ordered on Silverback, I actually got the pieces not together. So I actually, when they came in, I actually had to press all that together. If you remember, I went by Nick, he pressed uh, the bearing in for me, I think, and all the pieces together. But this is all together already, and that's how they do sell it that way. So it's even easier because I don't have to do anything. I'm just going to pop the bolts off, pop all the old stuff off, and put all the new stuff on, put the bolt on, and good to go. And we'll go over that. So thanks for watching, guys, and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in two days. Peace out.